You've seen how AI can create videos, logos, even entire presentations. But have you ever seen it build a stunning research diagram that looks like it took hours to make instantly? Most people spend so much time trying to design good-looking visuals for their research papers or PowerPoint slides, and they still end up looking just okay. But what if you could take a block of plain text and turn it into a clean, professional research diagram in just seconds? I've tested dozens of AI tools over the years, and trust me, this one genuinely surprised me. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Edra Max's AI PowerPoint add-in to create beautiful, accurate research visuals faster than ever before. Let's dive right in. Hello everyone, I welcome you all to your favorite channel, Simplify AI. Today in this video, we'll be checking out a fantastic AI-powered tool called Edra Max AI. And more specifically, we'll focus on how to use its PowerPoint plugin that works right inside Microsoft PowerPoint. Believe me, it's super simple to use. And once you try it, you'll wonder why you ever did diagrams manually. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First things first, let's install the tool. You'll find the official Edra Max link in the video description. Just click on it and it'll take you to the website. Now, go ahead and sign up using your email. Create a login ID and password. It only takes a minute. Once you're logged in, you'll see a download button right there on the homepage. Click on it to download the setup file. When the download is complete, open the installer and follow the basic installation steps to install Edra Max for Windows on your computer. Yes, they do offer a web version too, which you can use directly in your browser. But I highly recommend installing the Windows app because that's where you get the best experience and full features. Once the installation is done, launch Edra Max and you'll see the main interface open up, ready to go. Now, let's say you want to use Edra Max without installing anything extra. Here's how you can do that. Head over to the Edra Max website and look at the top menu. Click on the tab that says AI and from the drop-down, select AI PPT. You'll now see a simple input box where you can type or paste the content you want to convert into a diagram. Let's try an example. I'll type in key components of a high-performance team. Once you've entered your text, Edra will either show you a recommended diagram structure or let you choose one yourself. Pick the type of diagram you want or just go with the suggested one. Now, click the button that says Generate PowerPoint Visuals with AI. In just a few seconds, the AI generates multiple diagram options based on your input. You can scroll through these, preview how they look, and once you find the one you like, click on Confirm. Now, here's the cool part. You can either download this as a PowerPoint file or edit it right there inside the tool. You can customize the shapes, change the text, and even save the diagram as an image if you want to use it in a research paper or academic document. This is a really fast and easy way to generate clean diagrams without installing the add-in. But if you want to work directly inside PowerPoint and have more control, I still recommend using the plugin. And that's what I'll show you next. All right, let's now install the Edra Max plugin for PowerPoint. You can either click on free download add-in from the Edra Max site or go to the product section in the top menu and select PowerPoint add-in. Now click the free download button and your setup file will begin downloading. Once that's done, open the file and go through the basic installation steps. Just hit install when prompted. It's really simple. Now open Microsoft PowerPoint, and boom, you'll see the Edra Max plugin added right into your PowerPoint toolbar, ready to go. Let's now use the plugin inside PowerPoint to create a research diagram directly. Start by pasting your content into the Edra Max plugin panel. Once your text is in, just select it and click on the option that says Text to Slide. Now you'll see different diagram options pop up. You can choose from several types like Cycle, Flowchart, Mind Map, and more. Let's go with something like a cycle for this one. Click to select it, and now the AI gets to work. Within seconds, it generates multiple layout options for your diagram. You can scroll and choose the one that suits your content best, and that's it. You're clean. Structured Research Diagram is now ready inside PowerPoint. This looks way more professional than pasting raw text onto a slide, and it gives your academic or project visuals a serious upgrade. Alright, so the diagram is generated, but it's not always perfect right out of the box. Sometimes, you'll want to polish it a little to match your research exactly. The good news is, that's super easy to do. You can tweak the shapes, fix any typos, or update the information if needed. Now, here's a quick trick. If you're not able to edit the diagram directly inside PowerPoint, like for Mind Map Diagram, don't worry. Click on the eDraw Max Files tab inside PowerPoint, then go to Cloud File. You'll see a plus icon. Click that and select eDraw Max Format. Once uploaded, hit Insert. Now go back to your slide and whenever you double-click the diagram, it'll automatically open in the Wondershare eDraw Max Windows app. And just like that, you're working in parallel PowerPoint on one side, eDraw Max on the other. Let's say you notice a spelling mistake. Just double-click the word inside Edra Max, fix it, and it updates your diagram. Clean, fast, and super practical. Now, if you'd rather skip switching to Edra Max, there's another way. You can simply export the diagram 
program to PowerPoint format. Once it's exported, just open that PowerPoint file. Now you can freely zoom in, delete any element, move things around, or add your own shapes right inside PowerPoint. You can fix any words, adjust the layout, or even insert icons and visuals to make it pop. So if you're someone who prefers editing right where you're presenting, this method is for you. Super handy, especially for last minute tweaks. And now let's check out the built-in flowchart feature. This is awesome if you want to build logic diagrams, process maps, or research workflows. Just click on the flowchart option and browse through the template library inside Edraw Max. There are tons of templates. Pick one that fits your content. Once selected, it opens up and you can start customizing it immediately. You can change the text, rearrange shapes, or even color code parts of your flow to highlight stages or categories. It uses the same easy editing system we saw earlier. So whether you're building from scratch or customizing a template, the process stays smooth and simple. Perfect for academic flowcharts, decision trees, or process breakdowns. Now, here's something super useful. What if you don't have any content yet in your PowerPoint? No problem. eDraw, Max AI can actually generate content for you before you even start designing. Just open the tool and choose your preferred diagram format. Let's say you type in something like properties of magnesium alloy. Within seconds, the AI analyzes that topic and creates multiple visual diagram options. You don't even need to copy-paste anything. It's all automatic. And the best part? These diagrams are fully editable right inside the interface. There's no need to export or open a separate edraw window. It's all in one place, fast, smooth, and surprisingly accurate. This is especially great when you're short on time or just want a quick visual foundation to build from. The AI does the heavy lifting, and you get to focus on polishing your ideas. So to wrap it all up, this Edraw Max PowerPoint add-in can seriously save you hours of diagram creation time. If you're a researcher or student, you already know how much effort goes into building even a basic visual structure. Most people still try using 3D paint, coral draw, or struggle with PowerPoint shapes. But with Edraw Max AI, it takes seconds. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be creating stunning, polished visuals that make your research stand out. In fact, high-quality diagrams like these can actually improve your chances of getting published in journals. If you found this video helpful, drop your questions or thoughts in the comments. I always love hearing from you. And hey, if you're someone who loves smart tools that simplify complex work, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a future video. This channel is all about saving your time and helping you work smarter, not harder. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!